Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to the September edition of Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. So, for this month I read The Dogs of Humanity by Colin Dardis. This is a poetry collection published by Fly on the Wall Press. Their editor, uh, Isabel Kenyon, actually sent this to me. She sent me a few before as well. And, uh, yeah, it says, Fly on the Wall Press, chapbook series, a publisher with a, co with a conscience. I don't know if there's a blurb that gives us some context on this. Uh, basically, it's like almost dog-themed poetry. I'm just going to read a few because I think that's the best way to give anyone a feel for whether they're going to like a given poet or not. It's quite, quite a stiff book. So, like, as you can see, it's now, like, folded up because you have to fold the pages, really, to get to them. Uh, especially because some of them are published quite close to the, the margin. Okay, let's read Stages. Back then, you would go through the stages. The voice box, the hair sprouts, the growth spurts. Now you just stage pass and go and pretend to hit all the required stations while collecting your paycheck at the end of the month. And the thing about a Monopoly board is that it's really a circle and the only way out is either bankruptcy or jail. Some of us get to land on Mayfair or Park Avenue but most sure can't afford to stay there very long. The rent collectors are out there with their long knives and the tax man is looking to take everything you inherited from your father's shoelaces to your mother's good graces and charm. But I hid everything in a deposit box somewhere left it to rust, and utilised nothing of my fortune. That's why I'm such a miserable wretch nowadays. The dregs of the dogs, down to his last stage. There are no refunds, no guarantors, and no one to underwrite your screw-ups. God is coming to collect, and the riches he expects won't be found in your pockets. I liked this one here, actually, the goalkeeper and the postmistress. He was a goalkeeper, and I am a postmistress, and every morning he would be there at the other side of the door, ready to catch the mail I slotted through. His technique was faultless. I tried arriving at different times, stopped whistling so he wouldn't hear my approach, ditched my postal worker uniform, and came in plain clothes, and then in disguise, my post bag hidden amidst the petunias. He didn't even have a dog to forebode my oncoming, and still he was there every time, perfectly crouched, awaiting the springtime of my ascent. I never heard one of those letters drop once onto his hallway in all my years of delivery, and never found out what was so damn important inside all of his envelopes. I'm going to read one more and then I'm just going to give you a rating for this one. Keep this video nice and short and sweet. What I would like to say before I get to the end as well, if you want to join in with Todd and myself, all you need to do, read at least one indie book a month. We're just trying to keep the love alive for indie authors. So, uh, Lion Tree. A golden evening opening up before me in the green pan of Lagan Meadows. One lazy pasture neatly circled by two rivers and held in their pan. Bowing down to the winter, this fallen oak still a giant in death on his knees portraying humility. Gone the emperor cloth of leaves, gone the good wine sap from earth, now his naked roots hanging as unabashed genitalia warmed in the solstice sun. As the ass might approach the elderly, ill lion, I mounted him and proclaimed myself king, with ginger footing, reaching for the sun as a crown. So yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed this, but that's because I enjoy sort of more experimental, more playful, modern free verse poetry, which is what this is. I gave this a four out of five, but I'm sure this wouldn't be for everybody. That said, I did enjoy it. And I'm actually planning on asking Isabel Kenyon for the uh, other publications here. We have uh, Bad Mummy, Stay Mummy by Elizabeth Horan, The Woman with an Owl Tattoo by Anne Walsh Donnelly, and The Sea Refuses No River by Bethany Rivers. So I'd like to read all three of those. So yeah, short and sweet this month, but that is the indie book that I read for September. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what indie books you've been reading this month. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.